Hello boys and girls, it's Dr. Adishino. Today I'm going to show you a very easy way to remember Salter Harris Fracture Classification. A lot of students have trouble with this, but it's really, really easy. Let's break it down to the basics. First, there's five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And you just have to know the parts of the bone. The top part is the metaphysis, the growth place is the physis, and epiphysis is the basically outermost part of the bone. Now, Salter Harris 1 is basically a slipped fracture where the bone basically slipped a little bit uh, and that's actually Salter Harris 1. It's still it's a separation through the growth plate. It's got excellent prognosis and can be managed non-operatively. Type 2 however is above the growth plate. See A so we're going to spell Salter out. We already spelled slipped a is above the growth plate, so this is the growth plate, above you get that fracture above the growth plate, that is type 2 Salter Harris fracture, okay, it's a fracture through a portion of the physis, all right, through the, through the growth plate and up into the metaphysis, okay, has excellent prognosis, can be managed non-operatively, no operations. Type 3 is low, right? Lower than the growth place, below the growth place. So this is the growth plate lower than the growth plate. So it's a fracture through the physis, goes through the growth place, and also through the epiphysis. That is type three. Type four is through the growth plate. So what we have here is we got a fracture that cuts across through the metaphysis, physis, and the epiphysis. That is type four fracture. And last but not least is Type 5. Type 5 is ER, erasure of the growth plate. So, you know, but there's always a growth plate. When you don't see the growth plate in there anymore, that is ER, Salter, S A L T E R, erasure of the growth plate. Type 3 is often unstable. Type 4 is prone to limb discrepancies. And type 5 is also prone to limb length discrepancies, right? Because what happens if you raise the growth place, this is a problem for the child to grow as it, they're growing older, their limbs is not gonna be equal, right? One leg is gonna be uh, longer than the other. Also in type four, the same thing can happen because as you're breaking through the epiphysis, epi epiphysis the physis, and the metaphysis. But the key dip, important thing as you can see here is we, can, we just spell S-A-L-T, ER, Salter, okay, type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Very, very easy. Another easy way I do it, I just write numbers through these fractures. All right, if this works for you, perfect. This is how I write numbers. I can write number 1, see that? That's like a number 1, kind of going through. This is how I write number 2. This is number 2, Salter Harris 2. This is how I write number 3, upside down. And this is how I write my number four. So the higher is four and five is one of those that it's kind of hard to, but you just kind of have to put your imagination in there. That's how I write my numbers to also Salta Harris one, two, three, four, five. Whichever of these techniques works for you, you can use it, get baby points on all those pediatric questions they love to test you on. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to watch more high yield USML videos, Please visit us on smashusmle.com and to be able to look at all these hundreds of videos to be able to succeed on the boards. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.